Watch you guys got another video on how to cool down a hot computer. Now there's many reasons why your computer is getting hot, but if you're using a small form factor mini PC like this one here, and you're trying to put in an RX 6400, you're soon going to find out that the heat buildup inside that case is going to get to a point where the temperatures on the CPU and the GPU is going to become unmanageable. And the reason for this is very poor airflow. So when you see a lot of YouTubers recommending to upgrade uh, these RX 6400 in small form factor PCs or ultra small form factor PCs, then don't be fooled. You are going to run into a lot of problems down the line. And the reason for it is because these cars get super hot and there's no way to dissipate the heat inside that case and the case will start to even get hot. So you can see here, this is the actual card. Now all of this part is metal and this helps dissipate the heat on the graphics card. And on the back, there is no back plate. But as you can see, there is a little tiny little fan in here and these are designed to run at about 75 Celsius which is pretty toasty. The problem is if you've got no airflow inside there, this is gonna to start to get pretty toasty very, very quick. Now, the good thing about this case is at least it's got some uh, sort of space inside, whereas some of the Dell Optiplexes, ultra small form factors, which I've seen people putting these in, it will get super hot, it really will. And there's no airflow in a lot of these uh, ultra small form factor or small form factor cases you can see there's no way of getting an intake fan on the front here and an exhaust fan on the rear now in my case the side panel has some holes in it which allows the air to naturally uh, flow in and out of the case from it there's no fan on there and it wasn't really designed to be a gaming pc just like a lot of the other systems you see online like Dell Optiplexes, they were never really designed to be gaming systems. So if we take a look here, the GPU and the CPU will start to go up in temperature. I'll show you these in a second. You can see here, if we look at the temps, they're erratic on the CPU and on the GPU, you can see it's at around about 51 Celsius. So let's go ahead and we'll run a benchmark We'll just run this and we'll see what happens here. And you can already see it's up into the 60s already. And the reason why is because this doesn't have any airflow in it. Just like a lot of the ultra small form factors and small form factor Dell Optiplexes and HP machines you see people talking about, there is no airflow going in or out of that machine. And this is going to cause a lot of temperature issues because they were never really designed to be gaming systems. And already you can see we're up into 82 degrees Celsius, 89 Celsius, even 90 Celsius here. And this is where I stopped at the actual benchmark because it was getting too hot. Now I did run this before and it got into the latter 90s, which was really scary. And then I stopped it. And that's because the only airflow will be through this grill here on the side, some sort of mesh grill here. Some of them don't even have this on their cases, but this one does have one, which means I might be able to screw a fan in here. Now, I have put a 120 on here before over the CPU, and it caused a few problems uh, with the CPU uh, taking air away, and I tried to blow air in, and it was causing a bit of an issue because it was really close to the fan. Now, I have changed the cooler on the CPU as well, and again, checking the uh, compound will be also a way to go to check. Now, that card is red hot. It really is. You can hardly touch it. It's that hot. And I'm going to let this... Uh, cool down here thoroughly before uh, we do any more testing. I'll let this cool down and I'll try to find a way of cooling this GPU down. Now you may be thinking, yeah, you can just put a 120 mil fan over the GPU area here and then just bolt it on. You could do that, but it will look pretty nasty, but you can't put the fan on the inside because it won't fit. It's too thick. And this is an 120 mil fan. And we need to cool down this GPU, and get airflow to it, to allow it to breathe and cool down and run at its uh, optimal temperature, which is around about 70 odd degrees. So I found these uh, Akasa Slim fans. This is an 80 millimeter one, and uh, this will be able to blow air right directly over the GPU from the side case. Now you can get the 120 mil versions of bigger uh, fans like these, and there's cheaper ones out there as well. They're a lot thinner, as you can see, 15 millimeters. And uh, that it might be slightly too big. That's why I had to go for the 80 mil, as you can see here, which is actually 10 millimeters, which will give me a little bit more, well, 10.8 millimeters. So this will give me a bit more room to screw this on and allow it to uh, blow air over there. 
Now, of course, this is going to also create a little bit of noise because of the nature of the fan, because it's an 80 mil fan. But if you want to keep things cool, this is what you're going to have to do. Now, the CPU also could have issues as well. I couldn't put a 120 mil fan over the CPU area, like I said before, because I did run into issues. But with this fan, it will fit right above the GPU on that little uh, grate, mesh grate there that we, we can uh, screw it to. So I'll go ahead and get this screwed uh, to the side of the case. Now, unfortunately, if you don't have this particular type of case set up, you won't be able to use this method and you would have to some, maybe cut a hole in the side panel and do some sort of uh, a modification to the case. Whereas this does have the mesh already on the side here. It's not designed for a, a fan, but I've got one on here and uh, I've now got it just blowing above the actual GPU. So it shouldn't uh, impede the actual CPU cooling at all. If I put it right over there, it did cause a major problem with the CPU. And before I run my test, I did run a test with another graphics card, a 1030 in here, and looking at the actual compound, he can see it was dried out. And that is why the uh, CPU was going all over the place and spiking uh, with the actual um, temperatures there. So what I did was I give this a little bit of a cleanup and put some fresh MX5 on here and change the cooler to an Arctic cooler. And I won't bore you with that, but this is what I did to try to uh, fix up that uh, issue there. So if you are running into hot temperatures on your CPU as well, or erratic temperatures going up and down, then you may want to check that. Now, of course, the biggest problem here is the lack of airflow. And this is also going to make uh, temperatures inside the case a bit of an issue. So We'll put some fresh compound on. I've changed that cooler to a new Arctic cooler here. And that's all we need there. And uh, basically, try and find a way of getting some air inside of the actual case itself. And uh, you may need to mod it and uh, try to uh, fix it that way. And uh, if it's the only way you can get airflow in there, like I've done here, then that's what you need to do here. So I've got the air now just blowing straight over the GPU. Already, you can see 41 Celsius. It's dropped by 10 degrees right here. It's gone going down 40 Celsius now. And again, the temperatures on that CPU have literally dropped down to 37 as well. So it's cooled that right off. So it's doing its job the way it should be. But the proof in the pudding is actually doing a benchmark. And this is where we'll see whether we can get those temperatures down on that GPU and on that CPU here. So I'll do the same test again and we'll run through and see what happens and see if it does anything. Now we're up into the 60s already, 62 Celsius. This is pretty normal. This is expected because this is the way this GPU works. You can see here, we're already quite a way into the benchmark. And I'm just going to let this run at 66 Celsius. And uh, I'll keep skipping through and you'll be able to see the temperatures here. Now, I think you agree that the GPU is holding steady with those temperatures now. It's not climbing so rapidly. It will get probably to 70 odd, and that's because it's meant to. And we're at 76 uh, Celsius. The so benchmark is nearly completed here, and we couldn't complete this before because it was getting into the 90s. And you can see now it's holding steady at 76 uh, Celsius and 77, and then going back down to 76. So it's holding steady at its optimal temperatures. The case itself is nice and cool. The case is not getting hot. And that's exactly what you're trying to do here. Keep the PC running nice and cool. And this will save your hardware from overheating and literally, uh, you know, letting go. Because heat kills computers, believe it or not. If you've got too much heat going in, it's going to cause major problems. And you can see here the maximum temperature on that CPU only got to 61 Celsius as well. Anyway, I hope this video has been sort of helpful to you. If you're running a small form factor or ultra small form factor, try some of these methods. Hopefully it works out for you. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.